Okay, so now you know my great secret. I have a confession that after 40 years, I never played the parts of Lady Greening Soul or Time. This magic piano has done it, and I may believe I was playing it. Well, I'm sorry I can't be with you there in London today, but uh, I'm busy here in California, and it's still a pleasure to be with you. Probably there shouldn't be a biography at this part of my life on me, because there's probably another volume sitting back there. But since Cliff got this wonderful uh, deal with the publishing company Phantom, I think it's uh, I think it's great that this is happening at this point in time. Cliff and I met several years back. As you know, he's a very good pianist, and he actually had worked with David Bowie on uh, with Ricky Gervais on that commercial funny thing that happened years ago. I forget the name of it, but uh, he came to the states, and we hit it off. And he just uh, got the urge after we spoke, and so did I, to do a, a, a biography on my life. And we spent about 25 hours where he interviewed me, and then subsequently uh, probably another 200 hours, aside from the 30 or 40 people he interviewed and all the other information that he gathered. So um, probably be a very boring book for a lot of people. It has no gossip in it, and you'd have to get that into some other books. Um, purposely withholding any dirt that I have from those periods in the 70s and uh, you're just going to get all about the music and the art and pretty much the creative process. So I'm sorry about that. I know people like a little about that but that's not where I live. I'm really hoping this is an inspiration to future artists and creators uh, that come about over the next several hundred years because I think you can actually have a balanced life uh, and do your music and have a family etc etc and you don't have to be insane and crazy and dramatizing all kinds of things to do um, music. So um, those are some of my thoughts there. Um, I don't think I have much to say other than I think I should play um, live for you. I've been working on a little arrangement of Space Oddity. I always change it around because that's not a tune that I recorded on the original version, but I, um, I recorded it on a solo album of the Bowie Variations, but I'm still searching and finding new things on that piece. So I'm going to use that famous lick uh, that goes... Uh, I'm going to use that as kind of a, let's say, a motif to develop and fool around with, but you, you'll see how it develops. I, I mean, I don't even know because it, I play it differently each time and I was working on something the other day, but it had a different energy. So we'll see where it goes today. And I really want to thank you for coming to the event and I hope you do enjoy the book. And just let me know when, you know, write me on Facebook or whatever. And I want to thank Cliff this guy was working 16 hours a day the last six months. I could not believe it. So I think you're really going to get an honest book and uh, enjoy it.
Thank you.